Hi, I'm Christina with EdTech. Today, I'm going to show you the different share permissions you can use with all of your Google Drive files. There are two easy ways to share a Google file with others. Up here in the top right corner, click the Share button. We have two options. We can add people in groups, or we can get a link and send it out. To share with someone, start typing their name or email address. If they are within the APS domain, their name should come right up. You can also add groups that you might be a part of. Once you choose who you're sharing with, click the drop down menu on the right. You can decide if they will be view only, a commenter, so they can comment but they can't make any changes to your content, or an editor, which gives them the same rights as you. The second way to share your Google file with someone is to get a link and send it to them. Right now this document is restricted. I am the only one that can view this document. I can change it to allow anyone in Albuquerque Public Schools to have access or anyone with a link. I can also decide how they're going to be able to interact with this document. They can be a viewer only, commenter, but they cannot change your content, or they can be a full editor. Then I copy the link and press done and my document is ready to share. You can also access all of your share permissions directly from the document in your Google Drive. Just right click on the document, click the share button, and the same permission screens will come up. Thank you for joining me for Google Share Permissions and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips every Tuesday.